Hi there, um, my name is Marloes de Vries and I'm an illustrator, writer and artist. I'm based in the Netherlands. Uh, this time I will show you my little sketchbook. So I really love the UK and I'm very often I'm there. The last couple of months I spent a lot of time in North Yorkshire, in England. And um, I was there for a little over four weeks last month and uh, usually I'm, I'm not the best sketchbooker but I have this little sketchbook and I actually filled it over half so that's a lot for me um, and I just wanted to show you all the sketches that I've done in the last couple of weeks and just uh, take you through them so uh, here we go um, I usually start my sketchbooks with just testing materials just seeing which pens I want to take and if you have a little bit of a sketchbook fright, so you're a little bit scared of the blank pages, this really helps. Um, and I just test my pencils here. What I also do often in the back is just, um, this, these are all Tombow pencil, uh, sorry, Tombow brush pens. And I make little color swatches and I use the code as well, as you can see here. So when I'm trying to look for uh, nice color combinations I just see which colors I want to take and see the numbers and then grab them put them in my bag and off I go like I said this one is really small it fits in my handbag which I really really love so this is the first one and we were sitting in this cafe uh, closely in Giesborough in North Yorkshire and while Bram my partner was reading his book I make I made a little sketch and I first started with a tombow and then started adding details later. And I will show you uh, almost everything that I have in here, even the, the bits that I don't like very much, like this one. I started this, this man was sitting there lovely uh, with, a, with his arms in an interesting position, so I wanted to draw that and then figured out mm, this is not going to work and then I lost interest and moved on. There was also this woman uh, feeding her baby and I've never drawn that before so I thought it would be really interesting and I made a quick sketch so I am although it's not finished I am happy with this. This was actually in Harrogate and uh, we had a lovely afternoon tea at Betty's there and uh, I wanted to draw the building because it's impressive um, and I remember that day being it was really hot and uh, it was busy on the street and um, yeah, I just felt a bit overwhelmed, so it didn't turn out the way that I wanted to or hoped it would be, and I just quit halfway through. A uh, quick sketch of a couple sitting in a Cafe Nero, and she was so animated, she was uh, telling something, and she was laughing, and he was lis listening very intently, so I just wanted to capture that. Another couple. Uh, having a conversation and a coffee. Uh, a landscape that I didn't draw from real life, but I actually we drove through this beautiful North York moors. It was just it was just beautiful, and I took some pictures and I wanted to draw them later. But this I actually did from memory later on, and just this is what the landscape felt like for me. So there's a difference what a landscape looks like or what it feels like, and this is what it feels like. Mm, yeah, just a quick experiment. Um, this is actually my partner Bram on the on the couch in our little cottage, and he likes scrolling a lot. So he's sitting very quietly, sitting very still, and he's very easy to draw. So it's a good subject. Little sketch when we went to the beach in Saltburn. Uh, a mother and a father and their toddler, and they were having fish and chips, and I drew that. Another quick sketch that I have no idea what it, what I wanted with this and then I just tried and didn't finish it. A little sketch of landscape, again from imagination, so nothing fancy. Uh, I remember this um, because this was the day I spent with my friend Marna. She's an artist as well. She had this, she had this whole big bag of um, pencils and lovely pens and everything. And I just, she said, just try a few of my things. And I did, and it looks like a little landscape, so I'm actually quite pleased with this one. And I also drew Marna herself. She was wearing uh, a dress, a wonderful dress, and she had brought with her uh, 
a neon pink umbrella and she had this wonderful cardi on with stitched on flowers it was she was looking so colorful uh, so here is a drawing um, i made when uh, i was having a migraine this morning i remember and i took medication so i was a bit a little bit woozy so if you look at the next page here for example my lines are usually quite determined i don't know how to call it but just quite and here it's like uh, uh. so um, maybe you don't see any difference but I certainly see the difference I feel the difference but I still like it um, like I said uh, there was the day after uh, this woman was having a, a beer in the pub and I drew, I drew that three ladies deciding what they were going to have for food I did a whole pink lens uh, ba background when I finished and then I thought Ugh. <laughs> this doesn't work but yeah you have to try it and then discover that something doesn't work this was a, a family so aunts uncles i could see the, the the grandmother everyone was sitting here and <laughs> i just had to draw them because they were on the all of them were on their phones all the time um i think we sat there for at least mm, an hour and a half and all that time they were on their phones. So even when the food was served on their tables, they were still on their phones. And um, the, the pub was quite dark, so they had the light reflected on their faces. So it was very interesting to see. I just had to capture that as a memory. Again, Bram on his phone. What I really like about this is the limited color palette again. I did with a Talon's brush pen. I did the background very, very lightly just suggesting a background because then i can refocus on this and this really adds to it i think to put it in uh, in the scene you can see that it's in a house but it's not distracting from what i really want to show again uh, this time he's actually reading a book <laughs> and he, have, he has his airpods in so this was another day with Maya again and this time Julia came along as well and we are all artists and so we decided to draw and we went to Harlow Car near Harrogate and they have this lovely botanical garden there. Uh, it was quite rainy that day I think, that whole month it was raining to be honest. Um, but we sat in this uh, little, little hut, I don't know how to call it, and we were dry and we had all our art supplies on the benches and we were just drawing and it was such a lovely afternoon. So we're nearing the end of my holiday here and we went to the Koshli again, the little bakery and coffee shop that Bram and I both really love. And I wanted to use a more limited color palette here so I used uh, blues all a bit in the same range and I used an ochre yellow and some warm orange pink colors. and. It, it just works well if you use cold colors with warm colors. So this was nothing. <laughs> this was uh, this was Scarborough, and mm, didn't like it, so I went on, and I still didn't like it, but uh, sort of finished it. I did with water colors. I did the water really quickly, and then with uh, a pencil, with this pencil, which is always my favorite pencil, um, I did. I added some details. This was another day we were going on a hike and uh, we were walking, I don't know where we were walking, I think towards the States, which is a wonderful coastal town. And uh, we walked through Port Mulgrave and we had this amazing view and the sunlight was coming in through the dark clouds and I only had this little sketchbook and this pencil with me and I just had to draw, draw the landscape. It was quite tricky because these were, this was in the background and this was coming more to the front and there were so so many plants to draw and well this is just an impression of it so again Bram, uh, Bram on, on the chair this time and watching his telephone again and you can see that there's a bit of green coming through here and that's because <laughs> I made this drawing um, so that's why I sometimes skip a page as you might have noticed because colors can come through and then it will uh, go through on another page on which I drew. Um, this is actually based on an illustration that I did many, many years ago, I think 10 years ago for Flow Magazine. And I don't know why, but I suddenly had the urge to redo it. 
um, in my sketchbook. So that's what I did. <coughs> I used a Thales brush pen here and I used um, new color crayons and also a bit of Tombow pencil. This was actually when we were back home, so it officially doesn't count, but I just wanted to show you the last one as well. So I brought this little one with me, which easily goes into my bag and I can carry it with me anywhere. Where. And I also brought this slightly bigger one with me um, that I use for different kind of drawings. So I will show you. Um, these are some landscape sketches and I use them mostly as thumbnails and then see what colors work well and um, yeah, just a quick capture of the landscape that I saw in front of me. Uh, here's another sketch <laughs> and some places I wanted to visit. Let's see. Uh, it's still smudgy. It's pastel. So I used it mainly for landscapes as you can see. Mostly quick sketches. Uh, this one I was talking about, I did this one with Marna and Julia. I bought a new pen and I wanted to test it out, so I did some scribbles here. It's all over the place, but that's fine. Drawing I did. I actually saw this in a little town and I saw a man that sold fish from his truck. And pull this here. These are really wide landscapes and uh, it was raining so I did them really quickly. Did this one in color um, on, the, on the scene so I was drawing this um, while I was looking at the landscape and it was just a, it was a lovely day but it was raining so um, I had to do it quick. Another one of the North York Moors, so they're all the North York Moors. I think this is the last one. It is. So I have different sketchbooks for different purposes. So I use this one mainly for drawing people uh, when I'm having a coffee or something. And this one I use mainly for making sketches of landscapes that I use for my paintings later. But that's it. That's my sketchbook. And that's been uh, about four and a half weeks of drawing. Hope you enjoyed this. 